What you doing? I want to color with me, Jim. Oh, you're coloring together? <laughs> Did you get green? That's fun. I'm well, glad y'all can be happy about little things like that. Hey, uh, wanted to come on here. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I just had like a, a picture when I was praying for my sister. I know I have bedhead and yes, I still need to shave and all that good stuff. We're just waking up here on a first day in Texas. But uh, I had this picture when I was praying for. There you go. Hey, can you be a what little... What colors are right here? Yeah, that's... That's what, it just happens when you put crayons in, it gets a little, some, I don't know. I think it just gets, when you put them in there, it makes those things. Can y'all be a little bit quiet for just a minute? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, thanks. Here, Hannah. <laughs> Here, Hannah. It's mine. Um, what was I saying? So, just praying for, there's three relationships, or three people, rather, uh, who have interconnected relationships, and... <clears throat> I got a picture of this. Ow! I think it was Sorry. mainly for her, but many people. Um, <clears throat> you're going down the road or the, the path or the track, and your, your um, journey seems rough, like really rough. But you know that you're going the right direction. I mean, I this could be said for... for uh, for some things we experience too. I don't think it applies so much, but I'm gonna go into the, uh, what I thought was the quiet, the loud room. I'm gonna go into the this room and because it's too loud back there. But uh, it's bumpy, it's really rough. Um, sometimes, not always, but sometimes um, relationships have gotten off track and um, and there's some things that people need to repent of to each other. I know, yeah, the bed head is, is bushy, I know. And, uh, I'm so glad to hear about reconciliation, people seeking reconciliation. You know, that's the ministry of the body of Christ. Like, that's, that's like our bread and butter. Like, we're here on this earth to help others to find him, to be reconciled to him so that their life goes smoother. You know, Jesus said, I come that you have life, you have it more abundantly. Um, don't you want that? Doesn't everybody want that? But there's a catch. He's got to be king, you know, you got to submit to him. Got to post, pop it up here, okay. Because um, he's, he's like God creator. Everything was made through Jesus. Um, so by him, through him, and for him, everything's for him. It all revolves around Jesus, and the Father found fit to make it that way. And uh, Jesus is going to be honored as king, basically king of creation here, pretty soon. Uh, he submitted to his Father. We need to submit to the Father in our relationships, even if something really hurts us. We have to give it to him. And we have to, if there's any part that we have that was uh, not representing him well, we have to repent. And that means, one, saying you're sorry, but having the intent not to do something again that was not healthy for you or other people too. And uh, so this is what I saw. I had this picture. I saw a train that was off the track, but, um, but it was still going the right direction. And life's can get off track even though you choose to follow some things have happened in you and your relationships it's and it's really made it rough and God doesn't want us to have you know we need to endure some things sometimes sometimes you can't you can't avoid situations and it's gonna it's gonna not feel so nice and, and that's what sin does and that's just sin is living not in a way that the Lord has showed us to what to live Sometimes it's just the wrong order. Sometimes it's the wrong way of things. And he's got to be first in our life. I'm telling you, Jesus has to be first. He's king. He's Lord. And you can kind of follow him. But if he's not really first, um, it's not going to go as well, you know. Look at this boy. I love this guy. <laughs> Such a good son. He was... Oh, thank you, son. He was... Uh, he washed... Uh, his sister's plate today. You're not plate bowl. Her bowl. Oh, her bowl. Okay. 
he watched uh, his sister's bowl, made me proud of him. You know, he got baptized yesterday, and Jordan got baptized yesterday, and so did Lydia. I'm so proud of these kids. Oh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Just love to have them on my lap <laughs> and pat it in my head. Not so much the patting of the head, but I like the sitting on the lap. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, so where was I, love? Oh, the so here's the picture, okay? This is a picture I got when I was praying. For my sister um i saw a train but it was off the tracks it was still going the right way but it was you know how those uh what do you call those beams that go across the tracks underneath them to hold to support them those um i don't know what you call them oh railroad ties yeah 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 um <clears throat> yes um it the the train wheel was bumping bu 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 on the railroad ties now you're still like, oh, but I'm going to follow Jesus. I'm going to follow him. And that's great. You're following him and you're going the right direction. But you got some bumpy, like it's just not feeling right, you know. Things aren't working well. Now let me tell you this. The Lord says that, um, not the, I think Paul, maybe it was Paul that wrote, um, that husbands and wives, you know, you need to be in a good lo loving relationship. You need to be reconciled. This goes for other relationships too. <sighs> If you if you're not if there's something that you're not forgiving, uh, unforgiveness is one of the biggest things that get you off track in life. Unforgiveness, no doubt, no doubt, so 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 dangerous. Jesus said you you need to forgive or or I won't forgive you. The Father won't for if you choose not to forgive, you're not going to be forgiven. It's really really important, David. You've learned some of this too. You learn forgive and um, but. Uh, so you can still choose to follow him mostly and um but it's gonna be a bumpy ride because you're bumping up on railroad ties you're on track now once you get off track if, if you ever had a played train set or anything once you get off that rail the tracking there uh it's hard to get back on you can't just turn the wheel and then just get back on it just slides and it re you really need help and this help comes in the form of repentance for relationships when you do this, the Lord can intervene with you and help you lift up that train engine and everything, all of it, and then set it on the rail so you have a smooth ride. And uh, I think some people, maybe I'm sharing this because maybe there's others, you, you, you need to take care of unforgiveness. Uh, I'm not saying that that was... Um, my sister's deal. There could be an element there, and I, and I don't, just don't want to expose, you know, personal things. But, uh, <clears throat> but uh, I'm just saying that that's one that I've noticed is the major one. It's a big one. Okay, so if you if you want to dig into this and you're having a hard time with this, there's a book called Bait of Satan by um, John Bevere, I believe, um, and it talks about unforgiveness and dealing with it. It's it's huge. It's huge. It's the biggest one of the biggest issues. In a life of discipleship with Jesus. Now, if you want to, anyone can say, oh, "I'm a Christian. I go to church." That's, forget the terminology. Forget all that stuff. You want to be a disciple of Jesus. He's given you His Spirit to teach you, and um, as you grow in learning and listening, uh, He can guide you better and better. And that means as you grow in paying attention, <laughs> really, and giving Him time. That's why we have the automatic, like, quiet time for our kids every day. We want them to develop good personal habits so that eventually spiritual habits can grow out of that <clears throat> um so anyway um just wanted to share that about the train off the tracks that was a picture i got while i was praying um so let if you have some type of relationship issue that needs to be dealt with here's what you can do you can pray that god soften hearts and i've done this many times and i'm sh almost shocked i shouldn't be but i am i'm surprised i've had sticky situations with relationships god can go and soften hearts and prepare hearts and it can go a lot smoother than what you can even imagine like holy spirit knows how to minister all right so give it to the lord and submit it to him and be obedient and as much as depends on you live at peace with all people that means if there's anything you can do for your part doesn't mean uh, forgive me, but you had really the bigger sin here and you really need to repent too. No, 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 no. Just, uh, that means I, I did do something here that, that could have led to more trains getting off tracks. I don't know. 
Um, and if, if the Lord brings it to your heart, you can you need to say specifically, you know, I did this. It made you feel threatened. It wasn't my intention, but uh, I don't know why I did it that way. But it hurt us, and I really I'm sorry for that. And I don't want us to be to be separated. I and I repent of of my part. And you don't bring up anything else. You don't say, but you need to repent too. You don't just repent. Be live unto the Lord, okay? We don't live to people, and we can't make them do things. We we do need to communicate, and bring things up, but live unto the Lord first. Do your part, and just see if they if He might. Um, touch their heart and they might do their part and be the mature one be the first one and uh, help people get on track because it's both people that get off track and you might be following the Lord you might be going the right direction but it's gonna be a bumpy ride until you get something set right and I just really look forward to relationships being set right I look forward to people having a smoother ride in life because man it just works better you know when you're on the track it works so much better and not bumping up and down on those railroad ties. The Lord has to lift you up. Train's a heavy thing. Relationships are hard to steer. Uh, you need the Lord's help. And our wedding verse for our, our marriage. Boop, I'm showing Miranda. I'm not showing her. She doesn't want to be shown, I'm sure. But <clears throat> um, was a, a cord. What is it? A, a, street, a three stranded cord is not easily broken. David wants to show his puppy for some reason. <laughs> I'm and uh, that means me, Miranda, and the Lord is the third strand. Um, he's got to hold it all together. And it has to be that way with every relationship. He has to come first. He has to come first. He's Lord. He has to come first. And if you do that, you get that third strand, and it can really tie things together in a way that even though you two could be broken, and that third strand just keeps you together. And uh, we need that. So anyway... Um, What's the title of this this video, love? Um, something about the train off the track, off the rail, getting off the rail, get back on the rail. I don't know. And on the I'll other, figure it out. Yeah, go ahead, David. And on the other time, we were faster than a train. Trains were faster than cars, but trains, we were faster than a train the right. other night. Yeah, the night. The, the night before last we were traveling I said and there was a train and it was beside us we were slowly catching up I think it was going 55 and we were going 60 and uh, slowly getting beside it we went faster than the train that's next level stuff okay that's Holy Spirit giving you a car and a, a specific mission and uh, he's directing your course the track you don't even know where the track is anymore that's where we're at um, but we trust him. We trust him. And sometimes you can go faster than a train on a specific track. Sometimes he gets you on a, on a road that you don't know. And yeah, you can go faster than a train. So thanks for bringing that up, son. That's next level stuff. You know, then get next level where you're so submitted to him and so his that he can just hey, go for a walk. You know, go for a walk. You know, go slower for a while. And you're okay. Yeah, but I want to get no... It's about the journey, okay? I want to get there, but... Or he can get you going faster than the usual train and a track, and, and he, he's in charge. So anyway, we'll leave it at that. You guys have a blessed day. Uh, I was going to do another video. I was thinking of this morning when I woke up, like, at 6 or something. And can we go in mind, a, but maybe I'll do that later. Can huh? we go on a train sometime, Daddy? Um, probably. I don't know. We'll, we'll look up for that opportunity. Why don't you ask the Lord? And then we'll see what, what happens. He can make that happen. I don't know if I can make that happen. Trains are kind of expensive these days, too. But anyway, you guys have a blessed day. Just uh, just remember, you know, forgiveness is important. Relationships are very important. And they can hinder you uh, in your... In your uh, I don't know if I finished that thought earlier, but um, you can be hindered in your prayers. The Lord cannot be really listening to everything because you're not listening to him when he said be reconciled when he said forgive um so listen to him do those things first oh i turned that on yeah i should have turned that off earlier i had the water heater on do those things first and um, be reconciled and yeah things should be uh, a lot smoother from here on out all right there's guys there's jordan there's jordan all right guys have a blessed day bye, bye.